So we're here with uh, Alistair Dunn of RG Hardy and Company and his new uh, champion, uh, Connor Sinclair, one of the hottest, uh, fastest rising stars on the solo piping and uh, piping in general scene worldwide. So thanks a lot for joining us today, guys. Yep, thanks for having us. Yeah, Alistair, you made a, uh, an announcement uh, about some new products, certainly the announcement about Connor joining the organization. Maybe talk about some of the new things that uh, we can look forward to RG Hardy and company bringing out. Yeah, well, we're delighted to welcome Connor to the team. It's good for me to have uh, another piper of that kind of level to bounce ideas off, test their products, make sure they're good enough to put out there for pipers to, to play. Um, and obviously with Connor, you know, playing traditional instruments and all the instruments that he does play, it's great to have his feedback, you know, so we can get the pipes properly playing in, in B flat mostly we've been concentrating at the moment. So with a new infinity B flat chanter and also 3D printed drone extenders. Mm. Okay, so yeah, the B flat, let's talk about the infinity chanter in B flat. Uh, Connor, uh, was this your brainchild about an ensemble instrument to help people play better together with other instruments? Uh, no, it wasn't my idea. I think Alistair came up with this, but um, I helped kind of develop it a little bit um, over the last few months when I've been working on that. Um, but no, it, it's, it's sounding great. Uh, the holes are, you know, they're small and comfortable to play. Um, and it's, it's not too loud either, so you can easily play it with other instruments. Nice and yeah. And the, the hole size uh, that you mentioned, the smaller holes, why is that important? Um, you know, for com comfortability to play, um, especially for long periods of time, if you're playing in bands, um, folk bands, you know, uh, you want to be as comfortable as possible because some of the tunes can get quite fast and stuff like that. Um, and also the, the smaller hole size will produce less noise as well, um, which makes it you know, easier to, to blend with other instruments. So. Hmm. Interesting. And so, of course, that is a flatter pitch. So you're to play, play with the modern Highland bagpipe, uh, got to make the drones flatter as a result. Um, so talk about maybe the drone extenders. Really interested in the 3D printing aspect of those, Alistair. Yeah, well, we've used um, 3D printing for a number of years in the business, not d directly related to the bank pipe. So this is really our first 3D printed um, product for the pipe. So I've got one here just to, to demonstrate. So this is our 3D printed extender here. So if you can see that, we'll have some pictures as well. So um, basically what happens is this lengthens the drone read. So you just put your standard drone read that you would have playing at modern pitch. So your drone that's in there, drone read, and then that goes into the, the bottom of the drone. So you're effectively getting a longer read and um, using that 3D printed drone extender. And um, <laughs> what I liked about this, because we have tried it on our CNC machines, but with CNC machines, you get quite a lot of flex because it's a, quite a thin um, piece of plastic. So it is quite difficult at times to get it really super accurate for a product that's that small. Whereas for 3D printing, this is perfect because the tolerances are so are so high they can get a really accurate product which as you know for keeping drone steady you know that's that's the key to this so by having something that accurate to plug your drone into and um, really for me that's what made the drones almost just behave in the way they would with your standard reads but effectively at a lower pitch uh, you know i've tried other products out there you know for setting your drones to b flat and i always have problems with them opening up too much there will be you know double toning because for whatever reasons with the base, you know, tuning in a different place. But I think the drone extender really allows your drones to behave in the way you want them with modern pitch, but then the key of B flat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And what about, uh, you know, 3D printing in general? Do you see a, a use for that uh, going forward with other kinds of products, uh, considering you talked about the, uh, uh, the delicate nature of the instrument, obviously? Uh, what might yeah. uh, be on the horizon? I mean, I'm sure there are ways to, you know, have more products like that. And, uh, you know, it's really suited, certainly the machine that we have, while it is quite a big machine, you have a small printing bed. So it is quite difficult to print larger objects, for example, a pipe chanter, uh, and also to make it economical. You know, we can print a number of sets in one go with a, a small product like this. 
and we already use it in the, in the business to produce custom cap badges and kilt pins and, and things like that. So, you know, you can get a really high level of detail. So I'm not sure yet, you know, perhaps drone reads, maybe we can 3D print drone reads for the accuracy, but again, a lot of the drone reads that are out there are producing terrific tone played by top pipers, you know, such as Callum and, and Connor. So yeah, it's something that I need to think about, but for the moment just concentrating on the, the B-flat setup. Yeah, it's really yeah, interesting right. technology. Um, you know, you also brought out your a new interactive buyer's guide, which is kind of interesting because we were talking before this a little bit about the need for teaching, especially now in the COVID-19 kind of situation. Uh, maybe talk about that a little bit. Yeah, well, and, and speaking with Connor and, and, and Callum, they're both not just champion pipers. Champion is in the one things like, you know, awards the Glenn Fiddick and gold medal. So, um, but they're teachers as well. So they, they'll identify issues when you're teaching, you know, pipers of all abilities. And they've all had our issues with bagpipes, you know, no matter what level you're playing at. So, you know, maybe when I took a step back from the band and the solos, um, I just wanted to pick up my pipes and play. I didn't want to be having to fiddle about with things and, and figure out a setup or moisture control. So the whole point of the buyer's guide is that we want beginners and people who, who want to you know buy bagpipes to really understand these are the options for the setup. You know, speak with your tutor and then decide that's what I want to go for. So we can try and get a, a pick up and play instrument. Um, my kids are playing the piano at the moment <clears throat> and it's great they just sit down and play. So they've learned loads and loads of pieces of, of music and they're, you know, getting really good at it. And I thought, well, when I was their age, I was still trying to make a noise, you know, from the instrument. So why don't we try and make the bagpipes as easy as possible? Yeah, interesting. Uh, and, you know, Connor, um, what a year you've had. Uh, I mean, it just seems to continue even in this kind of uh, lockdown and post lockdown kind of situation. Uh, you know, your, your success uh, with the gold medal, uh, the, the Glenn Fiddick, and now joining R.G. Hardy and company. Uh, maybe talk about that. Uh, you know, how old are you now? 24? 24, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, it's the next step in your career. Yeah, definitely. It's, a, it's an honor to be a part of this company now. Um, you know, I've been playing the products for, for years and years and really excited to, to be on board stuff yeah and uh, in addition to your solo uh, competition work uh, you're also with the, the the Celtic folk group as well and uh, are you guys uh, managing to stay together and uh, um, work on some new stuff yeah uh, we've got a patreon just now that we've been doing over a lockdown so that's been keeping us busy and um, just uh, finished a, a crowdfunder for the new album as well so that's probably going to be coming out yeah, we'll look forward to that. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, nice. Uh, great stuff. Anything to add, Alistair, before we wrap up? Uh, you know, you got a lot of exciting stuff happening, and it's great to see, you know, a business like RG Hardy, uh, you know, moving forward in, in tough times like this. Yeah, we've just tried to use the, the time as, as best as we could to think about, you know, what 2021 might look like and, you know, improving things all the time and maybe don't launch products all the time but we're constantly refining our products so that, that's where the likes of Callum and Connor behind the scenes you know they'll you know mention little tweaks to existing products part of our product development program that we have running and um, so yeah we just continually try and push the quality of our instruments and it's going to be an interest in 2021 and whatever shape or form it's going to be. Well, let's let's hope it's uh, a healthy one and prosperous one for everybody. And I think, uh, you know, if we look back at Peter Henderson and Bob Hardy and the the legacy of R.G. Hardy and company, uh, I think they'd be amazed to see uh, the progress that uh, the organization has made, uh, you know, in recent years. Yeah, and it's a it's a high standard to follow, but you know, we're we're doing well at the moment. We're in a strong position, and I'm looking forward to what the future brings for us. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, Alistair Dunn and Connor Sinclair, R.G. Hardy and Company. Uh, you know, really appreciate the time you took to uh, to speak with us today. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers. Andrew.